you know, you got into it, you know, through your family, but was there something about professional wrestling that really, you know, got you hooked, you know, and said, wow, I really love this, got you engaged? Well, I think, you know, when I was younger and was watching it with my, with my family, it was just the excitement. And, you know, when I was a child, of course, my heroes were the baby faces, you know, Mm -hmm. I would never, ever cheer for, for, we called them the bad guys. The heels. And it was, yeah, the heels. And, um, you know, it was just the excitement of getting to see them and, I don't know. I never was a fighter or tough person or anything, but it was just fun to sit there and watch him and to be able to cheer and see how exciting, especially my dad and my grandpa would get. I can remember my grandpa, he would sit on the edge of his stool and, you know, throw punches at him. And I just, I just love the excitement of it. And then as I got older, and was able to go with my friends and I, you know, met a lot of the wrestlers. I, it more or less became friendships that we made and we bonded. I mean, some of my closest friends are wrestlers and wrestling fans and they're more like family to me than, than friends are. So, so it's kind of, you know, like I said, as I got older, it, it was a lot to do with the friendships that yeah. I made. I mean, I still enjoyed the, you know, watching the sport itself, but after I got to know a lot of them and know how it, um, how the business worked, sometimes it wasn't quite as exciting as when I was a child and didn't sure. know what was going on. You know what I mean? But it's been a love of my life is what I always say. And I wouldn't change it for anything. 